Hey, what's up guys? I'm here today with the Goldea Rex 6200. Here we go. Alright, the 6200 is a four channel amp. Um, it's got a clean channel, two crunch channels, and a lead channel. And it also has uh, two separate uh, volume settings uh, that's foot switchable, um, as well as two different present settings and two different uh, depth boost settings. Uh, all of this is foot switchable. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the foot switch, so I'm having to switch it all by hand. But, anyways, uh, everything is switchable on the amp, so you don't have to have the foot switch. Um, to get all the functions to work right. Um, anyways, uh, it has uh, the clean channels right here, gain, middle, bass, treble, um, and the crunch channel, all the channels, the controls are exactly the same. Um, the clean channel uh, does have a bright switch, uh, none of the other channels do. Um, let's see, presence A, presence B over here, you have a depth boost for each one, um, and then you have a switch to go between the two different ones, so you can have uh, one set darker than the other, one with uh, the depth boost on, one with the depth boost off, whatever you want. Um, and you also have uh, two different masters uh, here. One can be used as a solo boost uh, to raise gain, or you can use it to, um, uh, or I mean, to raise volume. Uh, and the other uh, can be used as your regular uh, volume. So uh, let's see. You've got the uh, the clean volume also, uh, crunch one volume, crunch two volume, and the lead volume. And then you have a uh, the selector up here selects between the clean channel and crunch one, and the selector down here selects between crunch two and lead, and this one right here selects between either of the two. So if you have uh, this uh, setting to clean, hit it, uh, and it goes to clean. If you have this one set and the crunch two eliminated, when you hit the channel select button, it goes to channel two. Uh, so that's pretty much the amp uh, in a nutshell. Uh, it's got a really cool uh, looking front face pl uh, plate, kind of reminds me of uh, another German amp. But uh, anyways, here we go, I'll show you guys the uh, clean channel, here we go. Uh, gains it about halfway. Um, here we go. Taking the gain up a little bit more, starting to get a little bit crunchy. A little louder.
bit more. gain as the clean channel has it stays really clean there's a lot of headroom um, the amp also uses uh, 6550s the big glass uh, power tubes which I personally am a huge fan of um, so you do get a ton of clean headrooms really loud clean channel uh, I really dig it on uh, about halfway setting um, when you get the gain up to about halfway on the clean channel it starts to really fill up a lot uh, crunch one here we go set the gain about nine o'clock um, and I have noticed on both of the crunch channels the higher the gain gets the louder it also gets so it's uh, got to kind of regulate the channel volume while you're playing with the gain on the channel so here we go Take it up to about halfway. and mids down a little. Two, back that ga uh, the gain to around nine o'clock.
channel. I got the gain set to about nine o'clock, and here we go. It is a little bit thinner than the uh, the two crunch channels. They have a lot more compression to their sound, um, a lot thicker and smoother of a tone. So here we go. Gains at nine o'clock. <laughs> So you can hear it's a whole lot thinner than the other two channels, but when you start raising the gain up, it uh, thickens up, uh, especially in the lower mid-range. So let's get to that. Um, gain is between 9 o'clock and noon. <laughs> Gain is at about halfway, and as you can hear, it uh, it does start to get pretty noisy. But I do have the, uh, the master volume at nearly noon. It's pretty loud, so I guess you know use a noise gate if you're going to use this much gain. <laughs> Try going uh, going a little bit higher on the lead uh, gain to about three o'clock, but it's going to probably be noisy as hell. So, all right. After a little bit of playing around, I've discovered that the amp really does not like to go past around two o'clock on the gain with the volume uh, as high as I'm wanting to run it for this demo. Um, about what I would consider a stage volume. Um, once it gets past that, it starts to feed back, and um, I've got um, some Ruby preamp tubes in there that I know are quiet in my other amps, so um, I know the tubes really aren't to blame. Um, even holding the guitar away from the amp, uh, doesn't, it doesn't make the feedback go away. Um, I think it's just a matter of it's just too much gain for the amp to try and dish out, and with it being a budget-built amp, it sort of is what it is. Um, you really can expect uh, super quiet operation for the $400 that um, the owner for this amp uh, in particular paid for. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the difference between noon and 2 o'clock bef right before it starts to get a little bit hairy on the noise. Um, so here we go. This is, uh, let's see, back at noon and I'll raise the master volume up to where I had it before.
All right, that about wraps it up. Uh, I hate that I really didn't get to take the gain up as high as it could go, but um, I guess, like I said, it is what it is, and I really don't want to end the video on a sour note. So I will say that for the 400 bucks that the dude got for this amp, um, you get four channels and a pretty, uh, pretty good lead channel, a very good clean channel, especially for the money. Um, so uh, if these eventually make their way over to the U.S. in production, I think they'd be a great alternative to the, uh, you know, like one of the Bougueres or something like that for you guys uh, interested in a good high gain amp, uh, not a whole lot of money. Um, uh, so. That is the Rex 6200 in a nutshell, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you know, who knows, maybe these things will make it into production over here, so see you later.